right, what is up guys? Welcome back. So we are gonna do some things today. So let's talk about this thing. Got the engine out, everything is out. Engine and trans. This was an adventure trying to get this thing out. So I still gotta get uh, like the secondary fuel pump, the FMU out of there. I gotta get basically everything that was involved in the, the supercharger kit out. And I just kind of left everything pretty much bolted together. So all I did was take the trans off and I'll be able to ship it to this guy in just one piece. I'm not even gonna take the belt off, anything like that. So that's what we're gonna work on today is building the pallet. So I'm gonna build a crate to ship this thing in. So picked up some four by fours, some two by fours, and some half inch OSB. And we're gonna build a big old freaking crate. And there's like the intercooler piping and everything else. I'm keeping the headlight though. So I was also pretty careful to make sure that I didn't mess up any of the, the AC lines or the power steering lines. So that stuff's all gonna say, stay. I wanna try to keep heat and AC in this thing. So didn't mess any of that up. Uh, I'm gonna try to use the same radiator. It does have the uh, AC condenser bolted right to the front of that. So I'm gonna try to keep all that stuff. And this swap is common enough that they actually make brackets for all this stuff. But it's like $400 for the bracket. Uh, so I probably won't spend that, but I would like to figure out a way to use a 350Z uh, compressor bolted to the LS. So I have to make a bracket for it and then probably try to do the same thing over here. Make a bracket and uh, try to get creative and see if we can keep uh, power steering and AC and heat and all that other junk. We'll try to make it cool. That's what I say now, but that's what I want to try. So check out this clutch. This is kind of funny. It is completely smooth on the one side. So yeah, she slipped a little bit. So yeah, trans was bad. All the stuff was pretty much bad when I got it. So it's a little bit, uh, a little bit beat up. I haven't figured out uh, sixth gear yet. Sixth gear was bad and fifth was going bad when I bought it. But third, I actually did on video. This is third. So it's got that bad spot in it and catches. So yeah, and I was looking for rebuild parts for this thing. Yeah, so if you guys know, anybody knows the CD01 transmissions or anything else, place to get rebuild parts that's not overly expensive, let me know, because I would like to try to rebuild this thing and maybe be able to use it or sell it or something. All right, so I have the engine pretty much created up on the pallet now. So this one on the right, the 4x4 on the right is centered on the pallet, but the one on the left is centered on the crank. So I did that because I had to offset the whole thing because of the supercharger. So it would clear the outside edge. So the whole thing is kind of offset on the pallet, but I still wanted some support underneath the center section to support the weight. So this whole thing is actually supported by the actual engine mounts. So I drilled a half inch hole in this top board, top two by four. So all of the weight is supported by the factory motor mounts on these boards. So this section here you can see there's some 2x4s underneath and one on the top so that's just to keep it from rocking on this side. And then on the front side I have a board here that's actually kind of notched out to contour around the oil pan and then this one's doing the same thing over here but I stuffed a towel underneath it. So let's see how sturdy this thing is. So I think I can try to rock it don't rock. Put a little weight into it. So check this one out. Completely off center. This is the supercharger bracket. I'm sitting on this thing. I don't move. So 
And I think that's actually pretty good, but I still want to do more. So I got to do the sides in the front and back and top yet. What I might do for some extra support to the pallet, use some, some eye hole leg bolts on like each corner and then get some cheap ratchet straps and strap the thing down. I mean, I feel like it's pretty solid, but I just want to be careful because it's going basically across the country, north to south from Wisconsin to Alabama and it's gonna jostle around a little bit. So I feel like this is pretty good already, but we're gonna make it a little bit stronger just because I want the person to definitely be happy with it when they get it. All right, so I decided against the ratchet strap idea, but I did do a couple more support items. And one more board uh, supporting it underneath the supercharger bracket to keep it from twisting. And I went around on the back side here and notched out these boards here for the exhaust and that rests on there these are screwed in and then i just cut some shims basically because it was it was tight but i could still remove it by hand so what i did was slam it under there and then jam the shims in and then put the screws down so it's actually kind of lifting up on it a little bit and this thing is super super solid now i can actually pick the pallet up using the engine so it's pretty good and then I also went ahead and put a board across the top because if it's basically the weight of the engine is holding it on right now but I feel like it could still come up so what I did was put this board on and it went as far as notching out for these uh, bolts that are sticking up there drilled those out and then notched around this bracket so just used a saw cut around there so it's nice and smooth follows the contour of the bracket and this thing sits completely flush on top of the supercharger bracket and then i'll be able to use this uh, screw in from the sides and then probably just run the top of the box across the top of this thing so i can screw right down into here no issues there and screw in from the sides and that will hold the board uh, hold the engine down and we got all kinds of stuff to keep it from rocking so that should be pretty solid so i kind of missed recording a few things so here's some pictures that i took here is a separate compartment basically that i made for the intercooler all of the piping fuel pump fmu all the extra goodies that didn't get in there but i separated it from the engine and here is the ecu that i boxed up with some nice thick packing material and put it in a old uh, battery charger box and that worked out pretty well. This is the finished product basically before I put the lid on. You can see the left side has the white box with the ECU inside of it. And here's just another angle of the same thing before I actually put the box in. Everything worked out pretty well. It fit very nicely. Uh, nothing was loose or rattling around and it's pretty secure. All right guys, so we're in the truck now. We're taking the package out and we're gonna get this thing shipped. Okay, so the box is all gone. Everything's shipped out. Now I just gotta try to find uh, something to stick in this hole and get this garage cleaned up. Overall, the total cost, I'll do the breakdown for you. It was 188 for shipping, and then I paid like, added like $50 for insurance. So that came to about, I'll say like 230, 240 for shipping and insurance. And I paid about 100 for material two by fours, four by fours, three sheets of OSB, which I still have a full sheet left over. Uh, so overall, to ship that thing, how big it was and how heavy it is, uh, a little over $300, about 350. Uh, I don't think that that's terrible to sell something, ship it, and it's going from Wisconsin to Alabama. So it's not like it's very close. I dropped it off at a place that's five miles from my house and it'll be delivered five miles from his house. So I, overall, I think it works pretty good. Just took a little bit to build it. I spent uh, a couple hours for about three days building it. So it didn't really take a whole lot of time. It's feel pretty secure, should get there safely. And that's all it is.